Council, there was a judgment that was read by a judge, a three-judge panel, uh, in Russian, which Paul couldn't understand. I was able to see him from a distance. Uh, and he's been sentenced to 16 years in prison with no evidence that's been produced. There was no evidence recited by the judge that justified the detention that he's already been subjected to, which is a year and a half since I arrived here as ambassador in January. Uh, so it's a mockery of justice. I can't say I'm surprised. This is the direction this case has been headed from, from the beginning. But it won't lessen my commitment to continue to work for Paul's release, demands Paul's, demand Paul's release. And I hope all fair-minded citizens here in Russia and around the world would have the same reaction to this. Because if they can do this to Paul, they can do this to anyone. In the United States will continue to work as hard as we have been, and that's pretty darn hard, to get Paul released, demand his release, and call for others, you and the media, hold the Russian government responsible for what they've done. Get Paul released. Thank you. How damaging do you think that this conviction today is for the relationship between uh, Paul and his family, of course, will be deeply disappointed uh, by this verdict. We heard that his intention to appeal. Uh, my team from the British Embassy has been working closely with Ambassador Sullivan and his team, and indeed the Canadian and Irish embassies, um, on this case throughout offering consular support to Paul and his family. We will continue to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on the first time. I'm not going to comment on the first time. I'm not going to comment on the first time. I'm not going to comment on the first time. I'm not going to comment on the first time. I'm not going to comment on the first time. I'm not going to comment on the first time. I'm not going to comment on